Are you tired of having to repeat yourself over and over and over again when giving directions to your students? Do you wish that you had a magic wand that could make your students seamlessly follow your directions, paving the way for a smoother and more productive learning environment? Well, stick around because at the end of this uh, video, we're going to um, uh, share with you something that is going to definitely help you with that. Okay. All right. So here we go. Um, I want to welcome you back to the Education Hub. I'm Steve Hiles, and today I'm going to share a method uh, that you can use to get your children to follow your directions the very first time in three easy steps without having to repeat yourself over and over and over again. Um, throughout the years, okay, I have to say that I've used this technique and it works extremely well. So you might want to give it a try. Um, here's how to implement this strategy. Okay. And, and I'd like to work through the following scenario. Now I'm going to use a math book as an example. Okay. All right. The very first step, okay. The teacher instructs the students to get out their math book. Now, the thing here is that at this point, the teacher should stop and not do anything else. Uh, do not proceed any further until all students have their math books on their desks. And this leads us to step number two. The teacher instructs the students to turn to a specific page. We'll say maybe page 113. Once again, the teacher should stop and wait. Do not proceed any further uh, until all students have turned to the correct page. Now, you know, you might even want to uh, ask them to show a, to give a show of hands, right? When they have double checked that they are on the correct page. And finally, step number three, the teacher instructs the students to work on specific problems. We'll say one through 10. Now, and there you have it. Those are the three steps. Now, I know what you're probably thinking right now. You, you might be thinking, wow, this is going to take me all day just to do a simple little task here. But I can assure you that it will not. In fact, once the students realize that they only have to do one thing at a time, okay, they are usually able to accomplish it without a lot of fuss. Just think for a moment. I, I want you to think about this. If you had to stop and repeat yourself 27 separate times, what, what teacher, what book do I get out? Uh, uh, what page was it that you wanted me to go to? Uh, by the way, what problems do we work? Uh, think how much time that you'd waste there, okay? So, yes, it's true. An argument could be made that most 21st century children are amazing at multitasking. You know, they can watch TV. They can listen to music. They could write messages on smartphones. You know, they could build a fort. They could watch other children and play games on computers or Xboxes all at the same time. But you know something? Uh, what most children cannot do is perform tasks sequentially. They may also not be very good yet at prioritizing. Now, these are skills that you as a teacher can assist them to gain by breaking tasks into achievable chunks. A very important thing here, okay? So working step by step, one step at a time, following just one direction from the teacher, your students can be successful all along the way and will learn connections, how one step leads to another. Now, having said that, they will begin to understand how if you break large tasks into small chunks, you can accomplish anything. Okay. Now, I want to leave you with this one last thought. Always, always, always remember one direction at a time. Now, my friend, I hope when you go back into the classroom this next school year that this strategy proves to be helpful to you. I would love to hear back from you or from those, obviously, who have used this strategy uh, and share your experiences. I'd, I'd love to hear uh, how it works out for you. Now, if you found this helpful, okay, uh, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel for more classroom management tips. And by the way, in the description, I have a free resource for you that outlines the strategy that I just shared. Just click the link in the description box. Well, my friend, until next time, keep learning.